Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Chairman Fox. I am proud to be the sponsor of this resolution of disapproval under the Congressional Review Act to hold President Biden accountable for his reckless, unfair, unlawful, unconstitutional student loan transfer scheme. President Biden simply does not have the authority to, quote, forgive, unquote, loans and thereby spend unilaterally more than $300 billion. In fact, he even admitted, it, admitted that to CNN host Anderson Cooper in February of 2021 saying, I don't think I have the authority to do it by signing with a pen. Democrats, in fact, he knew, knew he didn't have the power to do it and advised him not to. Former Speaker Nancy Pelosi said on July 28, 2021, quote, people think that the President of the United States has the power for debt forgiveness. He does not. He can postpone, he can delay, but he does not have that power. That has to be an act of Congress, end quote. My friends and colleagues on the other side of the aisle piled on. Representative Jared Golden of Maine said, this decision by the president is out of touch with what the majority of the American people want from the White House, which is leadership to address the most immediate challenges the country is facing. And Representative Chris Pappas of New Hampshire said, this announcement by President Biden is no way to make policy and side sidesteps Congress and our oversight and fiscal responsibilities. Any plan to address student loans should go through the legislative process, and it should be more targeted and paid for so it doesn't add to the deficit. Representative Sharice Davids of Kansas said, it's not how I would have addressed this issue. Yet the president decided, yet again, to act unconstitutionally. Like the timing of the depletion of our strategic petroleum reserves, this so-called student loan transfer scheme that is interesting timing just before the election. Now, despite his better judgment, a barrage of legal challenges, and this current effort by this Congress to nullify his actions, President Biden has preemptively announced that he will veto my resolution. I would invite the president to reconsider his position. Federal involvement in higher education, in matter of fact, has done nothing to bring down the cost of college. In fact, for every $1 increase in student loan subsidies, colleges have increased their tuition by 60 cents. And all across the country, more than 92% of all student loan debt comes from federal loans, totaling over $1.6 trillion. This debt is held by just 13% of the population, in fact, the most elite 13%. It's estimated that two-thirds of the student loan transfer scheme would go to the top half of earners, not to mention that 70% of the debt is owed by students who went to graduate school. 60% of the constituents in my district don't even have a college degree, yet the Biden administration wants them to have to pay for the education of others who will have a significantly higher lifetime earning potential. Student loan cancellation doesn't make the debt actually go away. It simply shifts the cost from the student loan borrower and transfers it to hardworking American taxpayers. It's also worth mentioning that the key role this policy plays in the fiscal health of our nation as we address our debt ceiling. The principle of this resolution, nullifying President Biden's student loan, student loan transfer scheme, was one of the key provisions of the Limit Save Grow Act, saving $315 billion by simply asking Americans to honor their commitment to pay back their own student loans will help us to get our country's spending under control. Student loan borrowers are responsible for the debt they incurred, and Congress is responsible for the $32 trillion that we have spent. House Republicans take that seriously, which is why a month ago we passed a plan to responsibly raise the debt limit while providing historic savings for the American people. I invite Representative Pelosi and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to stand by her word and vote with me today in favor of this resolution to nullify President Biden's student loan transfer scheme. Congress must reclaim its power and act today to stop the unilateral action of President Biden that is exacerbating the higher education financial crisis. Additionally, my resolution will do what should have been done a long time ago, end the student loan repayment pause that has already cost taxpayers $195 billion. In short, this bill is needed to help steer our government spending in a more responsible direction, and I urge all of my colleagues on both sides to support this common sense legislation 
and vote in favor of this resolution, and I yield back.